What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in uh, Candlelight City after doing that whole Iron Island thing, and now it is time to go to the Candlelight City gym, and we're going to face Byron right here, the man with the steel heart. Steal something, I don't know, don't really care. But as you can see, yes, this place is a Steel-type gym. We all know how to defeat Steel-type Pokemon, right? Right? Okay, so I'm going to be switching them up right here, and I'm going to start off with Hero because Hero looks like it, it's hungry. I don't think I... Oh, crap. I didn't even use it in the last episode. Yeah. Last episode, I got myself a new egg, and uh, yeah, I'm not hatching it. I'm not putting it on my team or anything, but spoiler alert, it's a real loot. And uh, now, right here, we're going to be battling a bunch of Steel Eggs, Magnemites, and uh, a bunch of other Steel-type Pokemon that we haven't seen before. And uh, as you can see, Fire Fang does its thing, but look at that. Steelix is just uh, its a tank. It is a friggin' tank of a Pokemon. So we're going to be switching it up to Hydra number four right here. Because, uh, yeah, Steelix is still a Water-type, or no, not a Water-type, but still a Ground-type Pokemon too. So, yeah. You know what that means, right? That's right. And uh, it's still trying to, yeah, make us faint with, you know, or lower our defense with the screech and make us faint real easily. So I'm going to be going right here. Surf attack. Oh, yeah. And uh, it does it. It really does. Kicked your butt. Kicked your butt all over the place, homeboy. And uh, that is how you do it right there, guys. You see? Flexing my muscles right now. Okay, now the other thing too in the last episode, I yeah, I kind of <laughs> I was kind of being a little too cocky for my own good, and uh, yeah, I ended up uh, having my Pokemon fainted right here. So hopefully it doesn't happen in this episode because really, you know, I don't want to get embarrassed twice. So here we go, Worker Gary coming out with his Magnemite, and uh, this should be easy pickings for my hero right here. Um, uh, let's see, last episode too, I did, yeah, I did showcase my Pokemon being trained and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's more of a realization that, yes, I forgot to train my Pokemon just a little, but hey, you know, the struggle is worth the adventure, right? It is. And, uh, well, we're going to be going up here, and I'm going to try and find as many trainers as possible. Might not be battling everybody. Might be skipping a few people, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. So here we go, another battle against, uh, who is this person? Uh, oh yes, Ace Trainer Caesar. And he's coming out with his Scizor! Caesar? Scizor? Or, oh, shoot, I can't even say that way. So, here we go. Fire Fang, make him burn. Does it do quadruple damage since it's a bug type too? Yes sir, it does. How about that, Scizor? Take that, Caesar. Ha ha ha. It does make sense, and look at that. Here, uh, grows to level 36. Very good stuff. Very, very, very good stuff. Alrighty, okay. So we're going to be moving on right here, and uh, huh, I'm going to be moving here, and uh, I'm going to be going down here, that's right, and I'm going to be going here, nothing there, there really is nothing, so I'm going to be going here, and I'm going to be skipping that, and going there, and uh, let's see, is there a trainer? Yes, there is, okay, bring it. What do you have to say, Pokemon and Pokemon that work together, that is cool, that is very, very cool, didn't know that. Okay, so here we go. Worker Gerardo, or Gerardo, or Gerardo, I don't even know. Gerardo. Coming out with his Magnemite, and uh, here, I look at that. That's right. Oh, yes. Magnemite defeated. Fatality. Yeah, and <laughs> it's experience points. Number of the beast. How fitting is it for here? You know, Hellhound. All that stuff. Here we go. Firefang again. Come on, make it faint, and it does. Oh yes, I'm enjoying this. And another, another uh, number of the beast right there. <laughs> Evil Pokemon, you gotta love them. And here we go, moving on forward. Nothing there, so we're gonna be battling another guy right here. Why not? It's easy to battle these guys. Take their souls. You know, make them make them remember the time they 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 took on. Draven Corvone right here, and here we go, going up against the Steelix. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, switch him up to Hydra number four. You know the insurance policy, that guy. Yeah, look at that. That's right, your 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 physical attack has been cut in half. And uh, well, would you look at that? 
Doesn't really matter anymore. Woo! Nearly on. Sorry about that. And here we go. Surf attack. Oh, yes. Finishes off Steelix. Good victory right there. Very, very good victory. Excellent. And, uh, well, it's coming out with another Steelix right here, so I'm going to just stay put. And, uh, look at that. Steelix is looking like a, a beast right there, but my Pokemon's much more of a beast than that guy, so I'm going to be going with that Surf Attack. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye. Steelix defeated. Man. I didn't know, well, like, you know, if it if it turned into a Steel-type Pokemon, why would you keep its ground-type capabilities? You didn't know that, right? I'm just saying. Anywho, we're moving on forward right here, going to this little level right here, this little switch in this little spot, and uh, there's another Pokemon trainer right there. Let's see what happened right here. Let's see. Let's go. Alrighty, so here we go. Ace Trainer Brianna. Brianna or something like that and she's coming out with her Bronzor and I'm coming out with Hera the Hellhound and I'm going with a Fire Fang oh yeah that's right and uh, Bronzor is looking yeah well, it's looking like a pretty good badass and whatnot and well I'm gonna be going right here Fire Fang yet again oh yes Bronzor defeated these new Pokemon right here are, 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 are trying to get, they're trying to, they're trying to mess with me, but really they're not. Here's looking like a badass, earning all these stats and stuff, and, uh, you know what? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna stick with Hera. Okay, so what do you got, Hera? Another Bronzor. Let's go with Fire Fang. Eventually it's gonna learn it's a very, very awesome move of Flamethrower. Can't wait for that moment. And, uh, nope, not defeated. And here it comes Bronzor with a Gyro Ball. Doesn't do much damage. Not the heavy. And, uh, look at that. Fire Fang for the win. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, coming out with another Bronzor. So, okay, you know what? Hera, just destroy them all. Finish them all with the Fire Fang of Doom. Oh, yeah. Fire Fang of Doom does its thing and uh, <laughs> oh yeah gyro ball doesn't do really it doesn't do anything at all and uh, <laughs> another fire fang for the win and uh, yes yes buddy look at that hair grows to level 36 or 37 and uh, that is the end of that story right there <laughs> Moving on forward, and uh, let's see, we're going down here, and uh, look at that, red spot goes all the way to the gym leader himself, and I may have missed a trainer here or there, but it is what it is, guys. I'm just going to be battling uh, Byron right here. Now, if you guys don't know, Byron is actually the daddy of the very first gym leader, Rourke. Yes. I wonder how that family gets along with, you know, stealing wrong type Pokemon, you know, that kind of stuff. This guy right here. Oh, that's the bitch. He defeated my son. It's no surprise. He sucks. So if you defeated my son, you have a chance against me. So here we go, guys. Our next gym battle. Can't remember what number it is. I think it's number... Number seven. Holy crud. And we're going up against Magneton right here. And here we have Hera, the Hellhound. And I'm going to be using up this Fire Fang because, uh, yeah. You know, I've been using it up against all these guys right here. And Magneton does not faint. But it's going to try and use that metal sound, but it doesn't work. So here we go again. Fire Fang. For the win. Suck it. That's right. Oh, yes. I'm just telling everybody, just bring it. Oh, yeah. Steelix, just bring it. Here we go. Got my uh, my insurance policy right here. That's right. I got Hydra number four. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. And... Uh, Yes, I am lowering your stats. Hail Hydra. And uh, I'm going to go with this one right here, Surf Attack. Hail Hydra. I don't know why I'm doing that. But there it is, Surf Attack. For the win, not for the win. Hail Hydra. And, uh, ha <laughs> oh, crud. There's that Sandstorm. I don't know why you tried the, the Sandstorm. I, I didn't, what I, like, what was the good idea behind that? Oh, because of that. A full restore. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Surf attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? And nearly makes a faint. Crud. 
and uh, the sandstorm rages. And I get hit because, you know what, why not? So here we go again, surf attack for the win. And uh, that is how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. Another Hell Hydra right there. Yes, I know, guys. It's getting a little annoying. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm getting hit by the Sandstorm. He's going to be coming out with a Bastiodon. So I'm going to be switching him up with uh, my own version of the Bastiodon. A leafy Bastiodon. Yeah, Donatello. That's right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus the Dinosaur Man. Look at that. New Pokemon. You know, fossil Pokemon. It is actually a steel type Pokemon, right? I don't know. So I'm gonna be using an earthquake, and yes, that quick claw works for me. And uh Oh yes. That's right, I love that earthquake attack. Works well. Works super well about that. And uh that is how you win a freaking gym battle. That is how you do it. And uh <clears throat> yes, I'm feeling a little bit heavier right there because I earned myself another gym badge. Ha <laughs> ha. Price Pokemon and all that stuff. So we got ourselves the mine badge. It's mine now. And, uh, well, this actually enables us to use strength outside of battle. And, uh, we got six badges. Okay, never mind. It's our sixth badge. <laughs> My bad. And we get the TM91, a move that he hasn't used. Flash Cannon, a very, very powerful steel type move. Yeah. Didn't use that move at all. That's right. Okay. Features looking bright. You need to re-educate yourself. Well, he needs to go back to Iron Island. So that's pretty much it for him right there. And uh, well, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be going back downstairs because uh, you know it's time. It is time to go back down. And wow, I can actually feel what the elevator has. So we're gonna stay right here, guys. Um, once we step outside, uh, a few new events happen within this this game right here. Um, first is first, I'm going to show you guys my new gym badge. That's right, guys. I'm going to show you my gym badge. Look at that. Six badges in all. Got two more. Holy crud. Holy freaking crud. Anywho, stay tuned, guys. Next episode, we will be checking out the history of Sinnoh. See you guys.